about how this blue marble is part of my culture. So how, how it's part of my culture and how I've learned what it, the symbolism and how I've got more into it. So without further ado, let me ask, how many of you have been to the beach? Like, by a show of hands. Yeah, so pretty much all of us, right? So when we go out to the beach and we pick our little spot to camp out, and that's our spot, right? You guys ever see like on the way in or out of the beach, trash, litter, cigarette butts, or plastic that's just been, been left? And the trash can is literally like right there, but there's cans just, it's like, all right, you guys see that, right? <laughs> all right, well that plastic eventually, overnight, shores get stronger because of the moon. The shores make, the, sh the moon makes the uh, waves go up shore. So with the plastic being there, plastic gets sucked in by the ocean and it creates wastefulness, it creates waste within the ocean and it causes harm to the ecosystem, water life and fishes and so on, turtles. So I wanted to, <clears throat> so, so what does this blue marble mean, right? All right, well, when Neil Armstrong went, landed on the moon, and you guys can see this on www.nasa.com, and just click on history. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quote Neil. I don't want you guys to think I just made this up. But it's on nasa.com, go on under history, and then you'll see all the people, all the astronauts that participated in, expi in explorations, and you'll see Neil Armstrong. When, when after he, he was given his two-hour exploration period, Neil was walking, right? This is what he said. He was walking, and then he looked at the Earth. So this is the Earth right here. He looked at it. And with one, he closed one eye, so he's just like this, and the earth is just right there in the center of just darkness, and it's just floating, it's rotating. And he closed one eye, and he grasped it like that. And it memorized them how, from on the moon, there is no discrimination of color, creed, race, ethnicity, or gender, that we were all together. We're all part of the same thing, that it's our earth, right? And nobody owns it. It's, you, she doesn't own it, you don't own it, it's all ours. We're all in this together, that's what he said. So. I want to talk about how this blue marble came into symbolism, part of uh, the environmentalist culture, part of my culture, and which is the man who started the whole distribution of the blue marbles, Wallace J. Nichols. And you can hear about his story. I would tell you, but I don't have enough time to say it. But his story, <laughs> you can hear his story on www.wallacejnichols.org <laughs> Wallace if you're interested on how this this is this got um, started. Or you can Facebook um, the Blue Marble. Just Facebook it, Blue Marble Project, and you'll see it on there. And it's all over the world. It's just not in America. It's in Canada, China, Mexico, Russia, Sweden, uh, Thailand, anywhere, any country, they have it. They know the, the history and symbolism, what it means. So it's an environmentalist culture. So about the environmentalist culture and how we're, we do, how the environmentalist culture and what we do. So our main goal, no, well our goal is to make the earth the best at, as best and well try to keep it made, try to keep it uh, clean as much as we can. Because many people have been detached from nature, believe it or not. I mean, when was the last time you guys like gone to like an actual waterfall that wasn't like prohibited or the no trespassing sign? Like, not many of you guys know about that, right? Like waterfalls, you, you know some? So it's like, you see how the beach, everybody knows about it, but waterfall, like actual nature, it's like slimmed down. So uh, <clears throat> we do our best to clean that up. We do beach cleanups with picking up plastic, picking up cigarette butts, um, trash. This, you, could be, you could do anything, like go to your neighborhood park and just pick up the trash, because people still litter in the park with trash cans just being there. Also, we do um, protests. Every 4th of July, we go to, well, everybody, some people might know about this, but every 4th of July, we go and we protest SeaWorld. And why we do George, July 4th is because on SeaWorld, that's the day SeaWorld has the most people in there because they light up fireworks and they do this big scene. And we protest it to let um, an awareness know about how SeaWorld is uh, keeping animals captive when they should be free. It's just, and it's just for amusement. SeaWorld has gone over 50 shampoos. That same shampoo they announced like in the 80s, it's not the same one that you see now. It's, they've gone over. And that's just counting um, California. So there's another one in Florida, so you can just like double that up. How many killer whales have gone just just because for our entertainment. So how do I fit into this culture? I fit into this, this culture. I wasn't always into nature, but I went, this was, this was a day I did school because my friends invited me to go up to the waterfalls and where I, back where I live. So I said, yeah, I'll go. We went, we hiked up to the waterfalls and it just amazed me how like everything was so peaceful. Everything was like so calm. There was like no hate, nothing. It was just like the water flowing. It was just, it was good. So 
So from there, I started to become more with nature. I started to um, give give more of my my time to to the earth, to the blue marble, which is what it symbolizes. So from there, uh, I did a awareness at my school about uh, like I was talking to people, like an awareness, an actual awareness, like pro not protest, but with posters. And I was telling people about how our ecosystem, or how our ecosystem is being treated, uh, new uh, new fuels that are being developed, algae oil, and so on. And I got handed this down, this blue marble down by my uh, teacher, my English teacher, Riser, who was also an environmentalist. So what I would just want to say is, get get involved with your environment. Try to do the best that you can for it, because in the end, we only have one blue marble, and we can't just let it go to waste. We can't let it turn to ashes. So take action and make the best that you can.